This is the Ice River AL0 Alethium Miner. I believe this is the best miner for beginners stepping into the crypto mining space today. There are two ways to mine with the Ice River AL0. Let's talk about them after I unbox the second one from Coin Mining Central. All right, so what do we have here? Well, we have our new Ice River AL0 from the team over at Coin Mining Central. Huge shout out to them for sending us a second one for making today's video possible. Now, we did get this power supply, which this side of it's fine, looks like a normal like laptop power supply, but I think this is the EU uh, plug, which we can't use, but it actually works out well because I don't traditionally power my smaller Ice River home miners that way. Take a look at what we got going on here. So we got our solo AL0 lithium miner, and here is our pool AL0 on the right-hand side. They both have these really cool barrel connectors that wire directly into a breakout board, which pretty much just gives us a whole bunch of six pins into a 1200 watt power supply, and then that just ventures over into a normal outlet. Nice thing is these models only use 100 watts. So theoretically, you could go ahead and use this up to seven to 800 watts, staying safe with the 80% rule and be good to go between the two of these. If you guys are interested in these cables or the breakout board or the power supply, I'll put a link to them directly down below. But let's go ahead and get our two AL zeros powered up. And away we go, power is on and lights are on. Let's jump over the computer and get these configured. So today we're going to set up one Ice River AL0 to pull mine. And then we're gonna set up the second one to solo mine. And we're gonna let them run for 30 days total. And then we're going to see which one was the most profitable in the long run in the current state of Aletheia mining. So why would you solo mine versus pull mine? Well, based off the current state of any cryptocurrency, specifically a lithium mining, it may actually be more rewarding over the 30 day time period to solo mine versus pool mining. Quick cliff notes and summary is that pool mining is going to pay you for the work and hash rate that you're doing consistently. So you'll get payouts once or twice a week. However, on the flip side, on the solo mining side, you're actually not getting paid at all, zero, unless you hit a block and blocks are traditionally worth significantly more alethium, which in the long run may, based off of our testing, be more profitable than pool mining. All right, we're over on the computer and both of our AL zeros are up and running directly behind us. You might actually be able to just slightly hear their fans, but they are as close, as silent as possible. So once again, huge shout out to the team over at Coin Mining Central for providing the AL0. Let's go ahead here, take a look at that model, and then we're gonna jump into the configuration. So over on Coin Mining Central, if you guys decide to venture over here, I put a link directly down below to their site, and they do have the units directly available and in stock right now, which is fantastic. Right now they go for $1,011.42 at the time of this video, which is September 17th. Who knows where the price is gonna be of this unit, when you guys go ahead and watch this in the near future. But huge shout out to them. I'll put a link to their site directly down below. And I actually have a discount code to save you guys a pretty substantial amount at checkout. So go over and check it out. So let's take a look at our first unit. Here is the AL0. And if you guys are looking for like, hey, I need a step-by-step -step beginner's guide 
on how to even access this, how to find it on my network, how to configure it, how to set it up. I'm gonna put a link directly down below. I have a full 15 minute tutorial available for you as beginners, but we're jumping ahead now. We've accessed the unit. We haven't made any configuration changes or anything like that, but we're going to. We're gonna set this up to solo mine. So first thing we're gonna do is we're going to find a pool. So I'm gonna go over to minor settings and I'm gonna eliminate all the pool information in here because we're not gonna use this. This is kind of the factory default, probably Ice River's wallet, and we don't need them earning crypto on our behalf. So for today, we're going to be using Wooly Pulley for our testing. And I've actually put together two separate virgin wallet addresses that haven't had any lithium deposited to them in any way shape or form have not been used for anything woolly pulley's got a boatload of different pools out there go check them out so we're going to go down to a lithium here and i'm going to go ahead and just click connection it's going to ask us what type of connection and we're going to pick solo now the ports at the very end of this on woolly pulley are what make it solo mining every pool is totally different so we're going to come in here and we're just going to copy it we're just going to hit the copy button right next to it we're then going to jump back over to our miner and we're going to paste that directly in the pool address field. The next thing we're going to do is we need our wallet address. So I've gone ahead and I have our fresh wallet address here. I'm going to paste it right in here. It looks like it ends with a two, which is great. That is the correct one. Never been used for anything. We're going to put a dot. We're going to do AL zero and we're going to do uh, underscore 62, which is the IP address. And then I'm also going to put underscore solo right after it just so we know which one this is password we're going to hit x we're then going to scroll over we're going to save this we're going to get oh the pool address is not in the right format okay so what does that mean well let me grab the full address because what that tells us is that we actually need stratum and we also need tcp included in the address okay so i grabbed the full information and what this means is it's looking for stratum plus TCP colon slash slash that you guys can see here, which gives the full stratum address. So we're gonna go ahead and hit save. Now it's telling us, oh no, pool number two isn't correct. Well, something different with the newer models is you actually have to select like, let's say you're just going to one pool, select the whole thing and copy and paste this all the way down. This is something new that Ice River put in place. So just the same things in all the fields and hit save. And now here we go. All right, so now let's look at our pool miner that we're going to set up. So this is our separate AL0. Let's get this configured on Wooly Pooly, different address, however, and set up on pool mining and not solo mining. So once again, we're going to make this real quick. We're going to come over here. We're going to clear all the fields with everything we've learned from the last few minutes. And let's go back over to Wooly Pooly now. We're going to come down. We're going to click connection under a lithium. And instead of solo mining, we're going to pick PPLNS, which is pool mining. And we're going to take our US address and copy that. You can see the port is actually a little bit different, which is perfect. So now we're going to come back over here and you actually I'm just got a pre-filled address here. You're going to need the stratum plus TCP colon slash slash. And then we're going to paste in the woolly pulley entire address here, which is great, which works out well. Now what we're going to need is we're going to need our other wallet. This is another whole separate wallet. Now you don't need to do this if you're doing this, you know, separately and individually, but because of the testing that we're doing today, I want them to be entirely different wallets so that they don't affect each other. So I'm going to put AL0 underscore 109 for the IP address underscore pool. And then for the password, we're going to do X. And if you remember, we got to copy and paste this all the way down. All the fields have to be populated. And we're going to hit save and we're going to restart this miner and let's check back in a few minutes. All right. So we've been up and running for a little while now. Let's take a look and see how we're doing. So our solo AL zero has been up and running for about 34 minutes or so jumping over to the pool. We'll go ahead and refresh it. And then I don't expect to see any blocks being hit over here quite yet. However, what you guys can see is you can see your effort listed there. It does have your hash rate down below, which is great. You know, our 30 minutes, about 408. Probably let this run for about 24 hours before you start actually taking a closer look at the hash rate here. However, what we do want to look at is when we come in under blocks, this is where you're going to want to keep an eye on to see how many blocks that you've hit. And we'll take a closer look at this in about 30 days. 
On the flip side, our pool miner hasn't been running as long, maybe 13 to 15 minutes here. As you guys can see, we set that up second. And when we come over to Wooly Pooly, this guy is up and mining, which is great. And you can actually start to see some profits that are starting to be earned here. Now, as you can see, the pool hash rate isn't quite spooled up quite yet in about 15 minutes, but we should see this about 400 giga hash any time, any, pretty much any minute now. All right, guys, that's going to wrap things up for today's video. We'll go ahead and reconnect after 30 days and do a video to see which one ends up being more profitable, solo mining or pool mining. I'll see you guys next time. What's up guys, sorry to interrupt your video, but wanna keep you in the know. So are you new at mining or you're just looking to get step into it? You're not sure what hardware you wanna buy, you're not sure what build you wanna do, need some help? Maybe you're building your first mining rig and you literally need help step by step installing Hive OS. Maybe you're so far away from mining, but you're looking at it and you just need somebody to bounce some ideas off of. Well. I offer one-on-one -on -one calls with the community and I've done boatloads, some really cool ones. I've helped people set up ASIC miners in the Dominican Republic. I've helped someone troubleshoot their very first GPU mining rig. I've chatted with a guy looking to open up a farm and just wanted a sounding board. I've helped someone else build and set up and configure their brand new Caspa miners. Well, I'm here to help and I'd love to work with you. If you guys need one-on-one -on -one help, I offer it and I love doing it. So there's a link directly down below to thehobbyistminer.io. Go over there and schedule some time with me. All right, back to the video.